WWE releases former NXT Women's Champion Mandy Rose. There has been a lot of wrestling news this week, and today is no different. We are kicking things off with Mandy Rose being released by WWE. Take a look. Mandy Rose is no longer with WWE. As first reported by Fightful Select and since confirmed by our own Dave Meltzer, Mandy Rose has been released from the company. Content that she was posting on her fan time account played a role in her departure. This did have something to do with a site that she set up where she charges fans to see videos of her. Now, it is not an OnlyFans, okay? But she basically set up her own uh, subscription service, okay? WWE was aware of this service. So for a while, this was not an issue. This was not something they were unaware of. Where the stories diverge is there is one side that said that uh, WWE decided either yesterday or Monday that they did not like the direction of her site. And so they decided that uh, she is dropping the title Tuesday and she is out of here, okay? And, uh, and that side is that she showed up on Tuesday and she was totally caught off guard. She did go to the ring knowing that it was her last match and she did the job and then she was out of there. There is another side of the story that says that her and WWE came to a mutual agreement that she was going to be leaving and that's what happened. Fan Time is a platform similar to OnlyFans in which users can pay monthly subscription fees to access exclusive content from creators. What I've been told is her her subscription site, which I guess is uh, Fan Time. It's through Fan Time. And it was, you know, bikini shots and and this is this and that. And then recently it became more than that. And we saw a lot more of Mandy Rose. And apparently it got to the degree where WWE was like, this ain't going to fly. You know, the rumor is, I've seen no finances on either side, but the rumor was she was making way more money on her site than she was with, uh, with her NXT WWE deal, which was, by the way, main roster money. Yeah. So she was, she was doing well. The 32-year-old had been with the company since 2015 after taking part in the sixth season of Tough Enough. She made her main roster debut in late 2017 as part of the Absolution faction with Paige, now known as Soraya, and Sonya Deville. She returned to NXT in the summer of 2021 and won the women's title at Halloween Havoc later that year. She went on to hold the bout for a total of 413 days. I was given the impression that it's not like she could never come back and there is a possibility that down the road she will come back but for now she is gone rose then dropped the nxt women's championship to roxanne perez on this tuesday's edition of nxt the match was originally scheduled to take place at new year's evil on january 10th however an angle played out in the opening segment of last night's show that saw perez challenge the champion to face her that night Roxanne Perez went on to become NXT Women's Champion. Dave Meltzer posted to Twitter saying, quote, There's a lot to the Mandy Rose firing today and the title change last night was a last minute decision based on the fact that she was getting fired and not the original plan. Her teammates, JC Jane and Gigi Dolan, who were part of Toxic Attraction, all shared on social media broken hearts, while Mandy Rose simply tweeted, thank you. That's a wrap for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, do not forget to subscribe to F4W Online. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out my show, Speak Now Pro Wrestling, airing here Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays on F4W Online. Catch you on the next vid.